If you have no idea what electricity is about, and suddenly you are in the need to make a small repair or some electrical wiring, either at home or in your car, this brief video may be useful. All matter in the universe is made up of atoms. An atom is like a small solar system whose nucleus and satellites have electrical charges, basically of two types, positive and negative. Positive charges are in the center of the atom, also called the nucleus. Negative charges revolve around the nucleus and each atom has an equal amount of positive and negative charges. Negative charges jump from one atom to another when electric current goes through a conductor. These tiny negative particles are called electrons. Metals allow the negative charges in their atoms to move very easily from one atom to another. These materials are called conductors. Other materials, such as glass, plastic, and rubber, do not easily allow their negative charges to move from one atom to another. These materials are called insulators. In a conductive wire, electricity flows by electrons jumping from one atom to the nearest atom. The speed of movement of these particles is incredibly slow. One millimeter per second, 39 thousandths of an inch, that is approximately 3.6 meters, 12 feet per hour. However, electrons jump from one atom to the next in such a way that the resulting domino effect is as if the current travels instantly at a speed slightly less than the speed of light, which travels at a rate of 300,000 kilometers, that is 186,000 miles per second. There are also two classifications for electric current. One of them is direct current, in which electrons always move in the same direction through the conductor. The second classification is alternating current, in which electrons move first in one direction and then in the opposite direction, at a rate set by the generator producing it. Direct current was the first form of electricity used by man. It was used to power the telegraph, home lighting, as well as automotive electrical systems. Today, it is widely used in electronic circuits, photovoltaics, solar panels, medical equipment, electric cars, and countless other applications. The electrical energy coming to our home from the power company is in the form of alternating current. The voltage delivered is generally either 127 volts or 220 volts or a combination of both depending on the country and the type of service requested. A very important rule in electrical circuits is a simple formula that relates three basic parameters. Voltage, which is the pressure acting upon the electrons and forcing them to move through a conductor. Current, which is the amount of electrons going through a conductor. And finally, resistance, which is the opposition the conductor offers to the passage of electrons. To understand all this better, we can compare it to a water tank located at a certain height. At the base of the structure supporting the water tank, there is a valve which can be either fully or partially open, depending on the amount of water you want to extract from the tank. The height at which the tank is located is comparable to the voltage which generates enough pressure for the water to circulate. In this example, pressure can be measured in kilograms per square centimeter or pounds per square inch. The vertical pipe coming down from the water tank is similar to a conductor through which a certain amount of electrical current has to go through. In the example, the current would be so many liters or gallons of water per minute. The resistance can be similar to the valve, which can have a very high resistance when it is almost completely closed, or a very low resistance when it is fully open. In the example, the resistance would be determined by the friction of the liquid against the pipe walls. For electricity, there is the same kind of behavior, and it is described by the following phrase. The current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance present in the circuit. This can be summed up in a simple formula. I, current, equals E, voltage, divided by R, resistance. 
current is measured in amperes, voltage is measured in volts, resistance is measured in ohms. Writing the formula in the corresponding units, it would be A amps equals V voltage divided by O resistance in ohms. This rule is called Ohm's law which applies with certain variations both to direct current and alternating current circuits. For the massive distribution of electricity, it is much more practical to use alternating current since it can be easily modified in order to minimize the losses resulting from using cable runs several miles long. So far for this section. Later we will talk about measuring instruments. I hope this video will be useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.